Yahuchanan, John 4. When therefore Yahusha knew how the Parashim had heard that Yahusha made and immersed more Talmudim than Yahuchanan, though Yahusha himself immersed not, but his Talmudim, he left Yahud and departed again into Galil. And he must needs go through Shomoron. Then came he to a city of Shomoron, which is called Shekar, near to the parcel of ground that Yaakov gave to his son Yosef. Now Yaakov's well was there. Yahusha, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There came a woman of Shomoron to draw water. Yahusha said unto her, Give me to drink. For his Talmudim were gone away unto the city to buy food. Then said the woman of Shomoron unto him, How is it that you, being a Yahudi, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Shomoron? For the Yahudim have no dealings with the Shomoronim. Yahusha answered and said unto her, If you knew the gift of Yah, and who it is that says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked of him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then have you that living water? Are you greater than our father, Yaakov, which gave us the well, and drank thereof himself, and his children, and his cattle? Yahusha answered and said unto her, Whosoever drinks of this water shall thirst again. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that I thirst not, neither come hither to draw. Yahusha said unto her, Go, call your man and come hither. The woman answered and said, I have no man. Yahusha answered unto her, You have said well, I have no man. For you have had five men, and he whom you now have is not your man. In that you, rather, in that said you truly. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Yerushalayim is the place where men ought to worship. Yahusha said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour comes when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Yerushalayim worship the Father. Ye worship ye not what? Rather, ye worship ye know not what. We know what we worship, for Yeshua is of the Yahudim. But the hour comes and is now, rather, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in Ruach and in truth, for the Father seeks such to worship him. Yahuah is the Ruach is that Ruach, and they that worship him must worship him in Ruach and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Mashiach comes, which is called Messiah. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Yahusha said unto her, I that speak unto you am he. And upon this came his Talmudim, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What do you seek? Or why do you talk with her? The woman then left her water pot, 
and went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things that I ever did, rather that ever I did. Is not this Hamashiach? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile his Talmudim prayed him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the Talmudim one to another, Has any man brought him aught to eat? Yahusha said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Say not ye, There are yet four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say unto you, Lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit unto eternal life, rather life eternal, that both he that sows and he that reaps may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one sows and another reaps. I say you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye are entered into their labors. And many of the Shomonoim, rather Shomoronim of that city, believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified, he told me all that ever I did. So when the Shomoronim were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them, and he abode there two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of your saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed Hamashiach, the Savior of the world. Now after two days he departed thence and went into Galil, for Yahusha himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. Then when he was come into Galil, the Galileum received him, having seen at all the things that he did at Yerushalayim at the feast, for they also went unto the feast. So Yahusha came again into Khanam, Heather, Chana of Galil, where he made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Kafar Nacham. When he heard that Yahusha was come out of the, rather, of Yahud into Galil, he went unto him and besought him that he would come down and heal his son for he was at the point of death. Then said Yahusha unto him, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye will not believe. The nobleman said unto him, Sir, come down ere my child die. Yahusha said unto him, Go your way, your son lives. And the man believed the word that Yahusha had spoken unto him, and he went his way. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Your son lives. Then inquired of rather, then inquired he of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at the same hour in the which Yahusha said unto him, Your son lives, and himself believed, and his whole house. This is again the second miracle that Yahusha did when he was come out of Yahud into Galilee.